All right, so in our last video, we went to great lengths talking about the PlayStation Portal and whether or not it was worth getting. And based on how that video performed and all of you who have left your thoughts and opinions in the comments on that video, thank you for that, by the way. Um, it seems that a lot of you really like the PlayStation Portal or at least have interest in it. And a lot of you have picked one up for yourself. So I figured in this video, I would sort of go ahead and talk about a few of the accessories that I personally picked up for this thing that you might be interested in yourself. I will be leaving links in the description down below in case you want to check out any of these items for yourself. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about some accessories that are worth getting for the PlayStation Portal. Okay, let's talk about headphones. The first thing that I personally picked up after getting the PlayStation Portal was a pair of headphones. Unfortunately, traditional Bluetooth earbuds and headphones are not compatible with the PlayStation Portal. So you are stuck with basically two options. You can either buy yourself one of the proprietary compatible headphones from Sony that have the link technology that allows you to use wireless headphones with the Portal, or you can get yourself a pair of wired headphones. Now, because I am cheap, I picked up myself just a cheap pair of J lab earbuds that I found for like $9 on Amazon. Do I recommend buying those for yourself? No, but they're cheap. And so that's what I ended up picking up. But if you're looking for more of an earbud situation, honestly, I would just pick up a pair of Apple ear pods that you can find on Amazon or pretty much anywhere these days still. As far as earbuds go, I've always found that those were kind of the most balanced and neutral. So that's what I would recommend picking up for a wired solution if you already don't have one for yourself. At the moment, if you want yourself a dedicated pair of wireless earbuds, really the only option to go with as far as uh, the lowest price is concerned is the $200 Pulse earbuds from Sony. And I don't know if that's worth the price personally, um, given the cost to the earbuds themselves. But if you want wireless dedicated earbuds, that's really the only way to go with. However, if you are someone like myself who pretty much only uses your portal at home, uh, you can in fact still use any wireless headset that is compatible with your PS5. So sometimes what I'll do is actually just, I have my Pulse headset here uh, with its USB dongle already plugged into my PS5. And because I'm streaming from my PS5 to my portal, all I have to do is turn this headset on and I get the audio from my PS5 and I can play on the portal just fine. Again, that really only it happens when I'm playing at home. Obviously, I can't take this with me and use it that way. And probably for some of you, uh, you might get into some interference depending on where in the house you go to. But uh, yeah, that's kind of what I end up going with if I absolutely need a wireless solution for that time. Before we talk about our next accessory, I do want to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Exter. Exter wallets are not just stylish. They're designed for maximum convenience and security. With a sleek minimalist design, these wallets fit perfectly into your pocket without the bulk. Plus, their quick card access mechanism lets you access cards in seconds with an easy push of a button. Now, I'm a big fan of their leather wallet myself, but their new Card Holder Pro is a major upgrade to your standard wallet. This wallet is built with recycled aluminum that comes in many different colors and has a new durable metal ejector to smoothly fan out your cards with ease so there's no more fumbling around at checkout. It holds up to 14 cards, with up to 7 fitting securely in the card holder itself. Plus, with its ecosystem of attachments, such as the attachable money clip, it lets you customize your wallet exactly how you want it. Like all of Exter's wallets, this one also has RFID protection, and with its lifetime warranty, the Cardholder Pro is designed to be the last wallet you'll ever need. Worried about losing your wallet? Exter has you covered there too. Exter wallets are easily trackable thanks to their tracker cards, available for both Android and iOS devices, and they'll make sure that you always know where your wallet is. Head over to Exter.com today and use the code CYNIX to get an additional savings on top of Exter's current promotion. Thank you again to Exter for sponsoring this video. All right, that's enough about headphones. Let's talk about probably the number one thing that most of you buy for the PS Portal, and that's regarding protection. <laughs> when it comes to protecting the PlayStation Portal and ensuring its longevity, there's basically three things that most people end up getting. You have a travel case, screen protector, and then for some of you out there, there is the sort of outer case that you have for the PS Portal itself. Now, for those of you who don't have any of those things, there is a nice bundle that you can get on Amazon from Syntec that has all of those things that I just mentioned. Syntec was kind enough to send this to us. We aren't being paid for this or anything like that, and we are free to say whatever we want on the product, but I think as far as an all-in-one solution to just easily make sure that your PS Portal is protected, this is a pretty good option to go with. It's 
kind of a nice little bundle for your PS Portal and ensuring that it is protected. It's got a nice little hard shell case that includes two screen protectors for your PS Portal. And while I don't personally use it, it does include a nice little rubber membrane for the PS Portal for those of you who want a little extra grip and want to protect it from grime and accidental drops. I also like the inclusion of this little cavity space in the case here that has enough space to either fit a pair of Pulse earbuds if you have them or an extra charging cable. And speaking of which, let's talk about charging your PS Portal. Now, obviously when it comes to charging your PS Portal, I do think it is worth investing in a battery bank if you don't have one yourself already. This particular one I use is my go-to battery bank from Excitrus. Um, it's just a solid battery bank that it has the capability to help charge my Steam Deck as well as my PS Portal whenever I need it to. But battery banks aside, another charging accessory that you can get for your PS Portal that I personally really like is getting yourself a dock. Now look, there's lots of different third-party no-name charging docks that you can get for the PS Portal. This one I got here, I got for I believe 15 bucks on sale. It's a really simple, straightforward charging dock that you can plug into the wall. And then it's got this little nice USB-C magnet that you can put inside your PS Portal and you just set it right on top of your dock and there you go. As I've said before, I'm someone who likes to play my handheld devices in bed. So when I want to charge it after I'm done using it, it's a really convenient way to just set it and forget it and just have it nicely displayed on my end table. So if you're someone who likes to have your PS Portal displayed and also charge at the same time, this is definitely worth picking up. And probably is my favorite little accessory that I've gotten for the PS Portal. And yeah, that about does it for this one, everyone. Thank you as always for watching the video and checking out the channel. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite accessory is for the PS Portal and what you personally recommend picking up, whether it's earbuds related, charging, case, whatever. Let me know in the comments down below. Like I said, I will leave links to everything that I talked about in the description down below. And yeah, make sure to leave a like if you like this type of content and want more PS Portal related content. And if you don't, thumbs down works as well. But yeah, that's enough rambling out of me. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you next time.